We've gone this long without going to Mass because of the pandemic. Why should we go back? Why should we show up again now that churches are beginning to reopen? In our world today with everything going on, there's this temptation for us to give up on God and to quit on Him. There's a coach in the NFL, his name is Bill O'Brien. He's the coach of the Houston Texans. And about eight or nine years ago, he was the coach at Penn State University. And he took over after Coach Paterno and Jerry Sandusky and all the horrible events that surrounded him. He was an assistant coach who used and abused his power to take advantage of young people who he was supposed to be caring for. And Bill O'Brien came in as coach in the first season and he made this news that splashed all over the sports world and even outside of sports. At Penn State University, they wore these iconic white and blue jerseys, and they never wore their names on the back of their jerseys. And the mentality was that if you play Penn State football, everybody knows who you are. And that it's not the individual who wins, but the team. And O'Brien made this decision to put the names on the back of the jerseys. And people called for him to be fired. People said he doesn't know what Penn State tradition is, what it means to be a part of this program. And a journalist asked him at a press conference, they said, why would you do this if you know that it's going to cause this huge uprising and upheaval against you? And his response was this. He said that with all the negativity surrounding this team, this school, this program, this dark cloud that Penn State can't shake, these young men have decided to stick with it. And they decided that they wanted to be the ones to reverse this program. Even though all of the recruits and top recruits for freshman year had left, all the best players had left, they said they knew what Penn State was about and they were going to show it to the world. And O'Brien said that these boys, when they hit the field, the whole country, the whole world should know their name because they're never going to give up and they're never going to quit. And with everything going on with the pandemic, the isolation and the loss of life and the uprisings and violence and hatred that we're seeing all over our globe, there's this quiet uprising in people's hearts where they're saying, I'm going to give up on God, I'm going to quit on Him, because if He was real and if He loved us, He wouldn't allow all of this to happen. And yet God stands, similar to Bill O'Brien, and He says, don't quit, stick with me, don't give up on me. Even when it looks like evil and suffering and violence are winning the day, that God always wins at the end. That this is the Christian message of our faith, the cross, the resurrection. That even when it looks like we killed God, the resurrection occurs. And Jesus stands at the empty tomb and he says, with me, it's never over. So wherever you find yourself this weekend at Mass, whether it's virtually, at your home, or in person at one of our churches, make this the most powerful Mass you've ever gone to. Bring all of your hopes and fears and worries and frustrations to God and ask Him for help and never quit on Him. Because God's message to the world is more clear now than it ever has been. God wants the world to know that when things got most rough, you never quit on Him. You never gave up on Him. That you stayed with Him to the end. That you stayed with Him at Mass. The place where God's presence shouts out to the world that His love always wins.